Hello, this video will review how to use Prezi, specifically the presentation piece that allows you to add video and voiceover to your Prezi presentation. So to begin, you want to actually make your Prezi itself. So you would go to Prezi.com and you could choose to log in or sign up if you don't have an account. And you can just make a free account with any email that you have. Upon logging in, you want to look to your left on the left menu area. Um, there are three different areas that you might use to um, create your Prezi or once you create your Prezi to um, create your video from it. So to begin under Prezi present, this is where if you already have any Prezi's that you've created, this is where they will exist. So some of these you can see are, are older Prezi's that I've created that don't have videos to them. They're just ones that I've created um, from back in the day. And then I have some that are newer ones that actually do have a video. So if I have over this, you see that I made a video out of this one rather than this one's just a presentation. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and create the presentation itself. Put your text and your images and all that on the presentation and then from there you'll do your voiceover video. One place to go to find a template to um, use if you know that you're going to be turning this into a video is under Prezi Design, that tab. And then from there you can add a new one. So this is one I've already created but we can add a new one. And then from there, you can look at the different um, categories. So there's lots of other things that you can do with Prezi just besides presentation. You can do infographics. It gives you this template, and you just drop in your information to make a nice, neat um, infographics or poster. Um, they have some if you're making charts or maps or different types of posters that you can create. So lots of different ones there. But the one that we're interested in are the ones that are designs for videos. And so these are different templates that you can pick to use if you know that you're going to be uh, making turning it into a video and the reason why is because the uh, template is kind of in this format so that you will be here when you do your recording you'll be here in the video and then your your slide or your presentation will be kind of out to the side so um, if you want to get a closer look at it you can just click on one and you can kind of go through and see what it would look like and of course you could put in your images and your um, text from there so you're mainly just looking at the colors and the format so that's one place to get templates for if you're going to be creating a video um, with your Prezi Another option uh, to get to different templates that you can use for videos is to go to the Prezi Present tab um, and choose Create from a Template. And this will pull different templates that you can use. Um, and again, the focus here would be video templates because these would be ones that you would be using um, to make your video with. And again, you can click on it and then you can kind of go through it and see you know what your options are and what it would look like so if it's something that you decide that you do want to use to create uh, your presentation you would just choose use this template and then you will go into the editor area and you'll be able to um, just basically change out the text and the images to make it your own so from here um, you'll have the different images that you can actually manipulate so like in this case if I want to move it up and then I can just click on the title and just give it a change and then I can actually come through the different slides these have already been ordered for you you can reorder them if you want to um, but a lot of times it's just easier to go with with the order that we have moving through and again you can always go back to see the main ones so the first slide would show all of this and then the next would go to this So we can edit the text that we have here. We can also edit the picture. So if I click on this, um, I can choose to upload a photo from my own um, computer or I can search. There are some options here that I can search. Um, there are limitations, but you can search to see if there's one that's already available for you. In addition, they have some gifts that you can use and some stickers if you maybe wanted to use those. So once we have that one, I can go back and that will take me back to my main slide. So here I can edit some text as well. So since when I click on that one, it's going to say that I'm from Georgia, I might edit that to say, you know, where I'm from. 
if you're trying to edit the text itself, so if you just double click on it, it takes you into edit where um, it zooms in. And if you're just trying to edit the text itself, I have a little bit uh, better uh, luck right clicking and then double clicking on it. And then I can say something like, and then I have a little bit um, more ability to move things around. Now keep in mind that I can leave uh, what is here, but I can also change some of this if I wanted to change the uh, increase or decrease the size of the font, change the font itself, change the color of the text. Um, I do have options up here to do all of that. I can also change the bubble colors themselves using the different styles here. So just keep in mind that there are lots of options up here to uh, move things around. But then I'll just continue forth. And again, if I want to upload a picture instead of search for one that's already in the, the data bank, I can choose upload and then I'll be able to pick it from my computer um, and it will upload in and resize itself. Um, so notice that this was a landscape image and um, it kind of turned it into one that is um, more vertical to fit. So I can go with that. But keep in mind, if I don't have to just use what's the template here, I can insert different things up here. So insert other images, insert text, stickers, um, different things here as well, shapes, arrows, other things. So I'll show you, for example, like I can pull in this. And I can maybe add in a text that says, that's me. And so you're not just stuck to using your um, template. So in addition to the movement that you'll have that's already set in place by Prezi, the, the movement from different slides, you can add in other animations if you like to. So for example, if I wanted to add in the animation with these two, I could go to insert and then choose animation and I could have that fade in and so what would happen or what should happen is when we are going through our Prezi when we're presenting it should animate in and to test that I can go up to present and this is kind of letting me see, it's kind of like when you're in PowerPoint and you're looking at the preview uh, where you're going through your PowerPoint and seeing what it looks like live. And so here we can see that it would go from here and then I added in that animation just like you would in a PowerPoint. Um, and that would how, that's how that would work. Also know that in addition to inserting different things, which again, um, you have all these different options, um, you can change the style of your presentation as well. So if you just don't like the background um, template that you had, you can pick a different background template if you would prefer something else. Um, you can also change the different topics, the different colors that are used. You can change the color scheme there. So you have different options. Even when you pick a template, um, you still have the ability to switch it up some. Also, say for example that this uh, template fits my needs almost, but not quite. Say that I need another bubble over here. So I've used up the ones I have, but I really need another one. I can actually add more. So up here I can add another planet topic, which is going to be these, these images inside, or a stack topic. So I'll add another planet topic. And you see it will just fall with its own, um, it'll, Prezi will automatically put it where it needs to go in the, in the process. And so I can just move this guy over here and I can make it look like the other ones. Um, I can change the color to it. I have full ability to edit things as needed um, to be able to make this, this a new uh, bubble and add to my template. 
All right, so now that I've created my presentation itself, um, I can actually go and uh, create my video to go with my presentation. So in that case, I've created my, my presentation here, and I can just go right up here to the top and do Create Video. Um, it might be that you've created this presentation at a different day or time, and you want to come back and add your video in later. That's fine. You can always come in and edit the presentation that you've already been working on. So from here, I can come in and edit it and it'll take me right back into the editor to go ahead and add in the video component to it. Now if I wanted to present this live, so like in a regular classroom setting where I'm just showing it on the screen and talking live, um, I can do that here under uh, Start Presentation. Um, but in this case I want to create a video of it because I'm going to present it and then have it record into a video to post um, in my class. So I would choose create a video and then I have the option here to have it to where it's just going to record my slides and my voice. I'm not physically going to be in the video or I can have it to where I am physically going to be in the video. So I'm going to be this, this guy right here and then my presentation will be on the side. So I'll show you what this one looks like. So we'll choose to continue. We want to make sure that we do allow our camera. Um, so this is the camera that I have connected. So I do want to make sure that I allow for it. Um, and then I do want to make sure that I adjust myself. So um, like now you can kind of see that I'm in the middle of my presentation. Um, it's on top of my face. So I want to make sure that I either move my webcam over or I move my body over to try to get myself, um, for the most part, adjusted. So I think... Um, I think this will be a good, let's see, I think this will be a good um, <clears throat> fit. We'll go with this one. Okay, so then I'm going to choose to start recording my video. Alright, so now that I am um, recording my video, I would choose to, and you notice over here on the side I can see my slides so I can kind of see what's coming up, and so I would choose to start recording. It's going to give me the countdown. And then almost like a news anchor I would like to think of, almost like somebody doing the weather, you have all these things um, on top of your screen that you can point to, I would say... Welcome to my presentation. This is all about me. Try to point to it as best you can. Um, and then I would move to my next slide. So we'll start out with saying where I'm from. And I am actually from Georgia and I've lived here my whole life. Then we're gonna talk about my education here. So with that, I went to Gordon State College. I graduated in 2009, and here's an image of me presenting at graduation. Then let's talk about my hobbies. And so I like to go hiking. It can be very hard, but worth it. Then we'll talk about my goals, and my goal is to become a teacher. I especially like teaching online courses. And then we'll talk about the last one that I added at the end, my family. And I have a husband and I have a dog. And then it'll take me back to my main area. Now, as you are uh, doing your recording, you are welcome down here at the bottom to pause it. So if you want to, you know, go through your slides and figure out what you're, you need to say next, um, you can pause it and then you would just click resume and it would pick right back up to where you left off. Also, you have some options here, so uh, when you are recording, um, notice down here at the bottom, you can switch it to being just your screen, so it's taking you out of the picture. Um, you can switch it back to where it's you and your images, or if maybe at like the beginning of the video, you just want to talk uh, yourself um, without having all your different stuff on there, you can slide this off and it will remove it for a second, so you could record and say, you know, something like, Thank you for coming to my presentation, et cetera, et cetera. Introduce yourself, whatnot. Um, and then you could turn it um, back on to be able to get into the presentation. So then we'll choose that I'm done recording because I finished uh, with adding my information. 
So from here, I'll be able to play my video. I can, I'll can, i be able to watch it and see all the different things and see where it's moving from and whatnot. Um, if I wanted to trim my video, maybe at some point um, I went too long or whatnot, I want to trim a piece out of it. I can trim my video um, here. And so whatever is between the yellow lines is going to be what is kept. And then I would choose Done. And I would go ahead and save that video. So as it's saving, I can choose to make it public so anybody can view it, or I can make it unlisted, meaning that you would have to have the link to the video, uh, give the link to whomever you would like to be able to see it, similar to what you would do on a YouTube video. So in this case, I'll just want to make it unlisted. That way, um, you know, if you do unlisted, then uh, no one else can see it but, but the people that you give the link to. Or you can choose to make it public, whichever you want to do. I'll make it unlisted. And then I want to copy that link. And this will be the link that I'll be able to use um, later on in the course. Now I can also include a description if I want to. If I want to get super fancy, I can get the embed code to embed it into um, D2L or any program that allows embedding, but for the most part, you would just get the link to copy it. All right, so I've copied that link, and so to test it, I'm just going to go ahead and sign out of my account just so that we can see what the video would look like without having it um, logged into my account as, as someone completely outside of um, my, my Prezi account would be able to see. So now when I'm viewing this as someone other than me, so a student or another peer, um, it will look kind of like a YouTube video. And so you can just play it. And notice you can kind of see as I just go through it that it's going to zoom in and out. And then also over here on the side, you see that it automatically breaks it into chapters based upon the movements that were set in my template. So if the viewer wants to just skip to a specific part, they can do that. And very important down here at the bottom, it actually will, you can turn on captions that will be automatically generated for your presentation. Also, one last thing, when you are editing your presentation, um, when you're creating it, um, again, the template is there to guide you, but you can move things around. So, for example, um, instead of having them all over here on the side, I can actually click on the, the, the topic that I'm looking at and choose Layout. And notice that it can move, it will move all of my information around for me. Rather, my head would be here versus my head would be here versus if I have it all at the bottom. I can, it will take my content and move it around just on the slide itself. And that can be done for the individual topics as well. So, like here's an option, but then it can also be moved around, you know, here. It can move around the different pieces and components, um, what the slide would look like, those types of things. So, um, that is all also another component that you can do as you edit your Prezi. But again, the main thing is once you get finished to copy that link and then you can drop that in wherever you would like for someone to view your Prezi.